Good day, everybody. I'm here at beautiful Memorial University uh, for for the day. Today is Wednesday, and I'm uh, I'm going to be here for the day doing classes. You can see in the background over here uh, this building right here, the one that looks like a big ski jump. That's the library. Lots and lots of things in here to learn. Anyway, so um, so guys, uh, uh, right now we're working on remixing. Now, I've been talking to some of you. I understand that some of you are having some trouble getting Sonar to work because of the registration. And for some of you, your 30-day um, free trial of Sonar is running out, so you need to actually have a registration code. <clears throat> what you need to do is, uh, the best thing to do is to email me your serial number of Sonar. Now, the easy way to find that is when you go to start Sonar up first, you're going to find that uh, you'll get a window that says that you need to register and in that window you're going to see your registration code send me that code email that code to me and then I'll be able to track down the registration code for you because it's two codes the serial number is one that you have the registration code is the one that you need now all that software is registered it's just that we don't know which code you need so you need to send me your your serial number and I'll match that up with the registration code for you if you got any questions you can let me know in the meantime you need to go around to Looperman to sample swap these other ones, any site you can find that has samples, and start downloading some samples to use. You'll be very happy you did that later on, because if you don't have any samples to use, you're going to find your music very limited. So the sooner you get at that, the better. Now, if you've got any questions, feel free to email me. In the meantime, go collect those samples and start pulling them into Sonar and making some music. By the way, you can also um, bring samples into uh, Audacity as well. It doesn't have the same... Doesn't have the same finesse that Sonar has, but you can certainly do a lot with Audacity as well. So if you can't get Sonar to work yet, in the meantime, I'm going to try Audacity. Okay, guys, take it easy. I'll be talking to you in class.